This video is about the only operating steam engine of its kind in Europe. The opportunity to make the video came as a surprise. We were totally unprepared to even see, no less film, the machine. Not having our good video cameras with us, we used a backup camera and it did the best that we could under extremely trying conditions. Photography notwithstanding, what you see here is a video unlike any other that we believe has been made. This steam engine is located at the Queen Louise Coal Mine Museum in Zabrze, Poland. Zabrze is in Upper Silesia. This steam engine provided the power to lower and raise miners in a cage in the mine shaft and to remove coal from the mine. The mine ceased operations in 1990 and since that time only tour groups have been offered the opportunity to watch the steam engine in operation. We were not part of a tour group and, parenthetically, we did not know that such tour groups were organized to visit this mine. After first being declined the opportunity to look at a steam engine, for some reason we were invited in. The lift mechanism was not operating properly. The wheel brake, made of wood and leather, would not release. So the operator was struggling to break it free and prepare for a tour group that was scheduled in an hour or so. So what you hear, see here is the operator exercising the engine to make sure that that brake would properly release. The engine was made in 1915 by the firm Eisenhut Prince Rudolf the Dolman. It has two cylinders, each with a diameter of almost one meter. The cylinders develop about 2,000 horsepower. They drive a six meter diameter wheel that moves the cables in the mine shaft. The wheel weighs about 25 tons. When operating, materials and men were moved up and down the shaft at about 40 kilometers per hour. The machine is capable of moving them at 100 kilometers per hour. There are two cables in two cages. One cable and cage is used to balance the weight of the cage and cable that carries the coal and miners. Because of this balancing, the machine lifts only about four tons, the weight of the cage plus the weight of the people or coal. As a side note, at the time the mine was closed, the weight of the cables that served the tunnels 503 meters below ground level was about 16 tons. Communications with various levels of the mine was done using the voice tube that you can see in front of the operator. The operator that you see in this video is the third generator in his family to operate this machine. His grandfather was first, his father the second, and he the last. Conditions in the building can be extreme. In the freezing cold temperatures, it is quite comfortable. But when the temperature is near 30 degrees centigrade, it can become extremely hot. On the day I took this video, building temperature was 44 degrees centigrade. When we left the building, returning to the near 30 degrees centigrade temperature outside was like going into an air-conditioned room. I love it. Fantastic.
There are many levels in this mine, and the operator must land the cage exactly at the tunnel level. If you notice, there is a scale on the right-hand side of the wheel. It's got markings on it, and then there's a white pointer. You can see that right now. The operator watches that pointer and puts the cage right on the mark. Now you figure he has several hundred meters, well, it's 503 meters deep now, but he had to be able to put his people exactly where they had to be. He did that visually. Absolutely amazing.